Hey everybody, this is Sinclair Hill coming at you with a, another update on the Great Night. And this update, I wish it was a good one. It's not a bad one, but it is bad. Not that bad. It could have been worse, but everything could be worked out. So without further ado, let me just get right to it. I'm gonna give you a hint. Everybody knows Red Fox, Sanford and Son. What he used to always tell Lamont, you big dummy, you big dummy, and you big dummy. And why I'm saying that, I was rushing about two days ago, trying to get in the house, get something real quick, come out. And before you know it, I'm coming in, slanted like I'm guy gliding, getting my wind direction to land on the aircraft carrier. Well, I landed on the aircraft carrier right now. And I crashed into something. And that's something that I crashed into coming on the slant was a high curve, about a eight inch curve. I heard a crunch and my worst fears came true. Was it my splitter? Was it my wheel? Was it a little bit of both? Well, I took a deep breath I got out the car and I'm going to show you what I have discovered. Yes, come down here with me. Come down here with me, everybody. Come down here with me and I'm going to show you what this big dummy done. There you go. Here's my wheel right there, all scarfed up because I decided to come in on an angle a little fast and there you have it. That aluminum showing out on top of that black makes this whole car look ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. I have a buddy that can resurface this, but to save money and save time, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to get me some gloss paint, some satin paint. I'm going to go ahead and follow down nice and easy, nice and smooth, and do a little nice touch-up job. These wheels, thank God, I brought them for the track. These tires are brought them for the track. So every fall, starting 1st of October, they're coming off the car, they're going in the garage until next May. And I'll be going back to my stock wheels and my Continental DWS 06s. So I'm not too concerned about what they look like, but I can't ride around with them looking like this. It is pure D ugly. Once again, in the words of my famous comedian, Red Fox, you big dummy. So there you have it. That's what she looks like. I jacked her up, but it's not that bad. Everybody, this is Sinclair Hill coming back at you. Um, part two of trying to save my wheel. As you can see, let me get a little close. I prepped the wheel for my touch up and I made sure I got in these grooves here so I won't get no paint on my wheels, which is no no big deal. But here, I don't know if you could tell, this is the satin black. It's all on the uh, lip, and inside the lip is all satin black. And what comes down here is high gloss black. So I picked up some paint for the high gloss black, picked up some paint for the satin black, and uh, I don't know if you could see it, but I just went with Rust-Oleum. Uh, universal gloss black that I'm going to use as well as a universal satin black that I'll be using for the job so to speed things up I'm going to go ahead and uh, touch up this wheel once it dries I'll let everybody see it it's not going to be pretty but you're not going to be seeing that from a distance so get back with you with the finished product Hey everybody, part three of repairing the wheel. So, I think I did an okay job. I can't complain about it. From about five feet, you can't even tell. From about four feet, mm, mm, three feet, it's noticeable. But the main thing is, I kind of lightly sand the wheel down, um, smoothed, it up, smoothed it out the best I can and everything. Then I uh, put a primer on there, make sure it's not going to rust. Then I did the um, 
satin black on the outside lip and the gloss for the spokes. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at it. This is the final product. I'm not messing with it no more. And maybe one day you guys can show me how to edit. This is raw, this is live. I have no editing uh, material. Uh, I like to know how to edit, hopefully one day soon, because that way I can make a little bit more crowd-pleasing videos. But I'm gonna um, do the best I can do with what I got for right now. All right, here we go. Let me show you the wheel. So earlier, you know, I showed you the paint. I showed you how I taped it off. And now this is the wheel, what it looks like. So please forgive me because the sun's in my eyes and I really can't see. I don't know if everybody could see that, but that's what the wheel looks like now. So uh, let me see. I don't know. Peel these guys off here because all that I could do, I have done. And that's what she looks like from that angle. I don't know if you can see it, I barely could make it out, but that's what she looks like now with my little touch-up job. It's not perfect, I really can't see, so please help me out here. So that's what she looks like. All right, so she's all done. It looks good from a distance, like I said. And yeah, she looks good. So I'm pleased with it. I am very pleased, very happy. So once again, I'll be getting back with everyone real soon on an update uh, with my um, package that's coming in for the car. And also, uh, hopefully within two more weeks, me and a couple of my buddies uh, from New York is coming down. We'll be on the uh, Thunderbolt track in New Jersey Motorsport Parkway. So please come and check us out. It's always a good time with the Nassau Eastern Region seeing the guys run their races, seeing the guys doing TT races, uh, time trials, uh, DE events. You got a hyper drive around 12 o'clock. Anybody could come down and just uh, put their car on the track with an instructor for $50. I think you get 10, 12 laps. It's, you know, it's nice. There's always a good time down there. So please come on out. Once again, if you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and most of all, share. So until then, God bless, peace, love, and happiness. God love you, so do I.